We're gonna be looking at the Vivitar Sky Tracker, I believe, and it's broken. This one's not mine though. I got this for $5 off of eBay, just this shell. It was actually like $20, but I had like a, a gift card that I used when I opened a eBay credit card, and I got this. The reason why I need this is because the auto home or orbital flight did not work on this. This is one of the worst drones I've ever flown for many different reasons, but that's a whole different video. And basically, it didn't work. I tried to get the company in contact with them. They were not extremely helpful. And so now we have this one, spare parts. Well, what's broken? Obviously the one from eBay has had some damage, extreme damage. We well, you know what's funny though, is that this blade looks the best out of all of them. Yeah, it's the one that's broken. So there is a broken arm here that did not come with the battery, which is fine. I have my own battery. Did not come with the camera and didn't come with blade protectors, but that, that none of that matters to me. What matters to me is the actual gear that turns the motor, because for this one, it doesn't turn all the way like these ones. So, what I did was I opened it up, and we're actually gonna go and open this one, just so I can show the process of it, and then we're going to be switching out the gear. So the gear on this one, you can see the teeth right here, it's not looking so great. So it doesn't really fly. It doesn't turn, it doesn't spin very well. So now we are going to fix that. First thing that I'm going to do, there's a screw in here that needs to be taken off. But again, we're gonna be doing all this. And now, I mean, we can open any of these and take it out. I'm going to salvage first from this side since it's the broken side. So what we're gonna first do is unscrew these. Um, it's probably really important to actually also remember where each of these screws go. So this one comes out and it looks like this. Here, and we have two more, and that should be it. So we can just kind of pull this out. I've unscrewed both of them, and now I'm just going to kind of lift that up. And there's a casing that it's connected to. It's connected to the motor on this. Um, so what we're gonna do is just pull this off. So now it comes off just like this. And the two screws that resided in here look like that. So like smaller version of what we took out for that middle part. Just going to put that there. What I want is this gear. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take out this last screw that holds this in. And so this is how we replace them. Now the actual company, I don't believe, sells spare parts. Um, they sell like the blades and they sell prop guards and extra controller, all of that, but they don't actually sell this. So that is a little bit issue. Um, I take with it because these gears look how tiny they are I went on Amazon first and bought like a bag of gears but none of them worked and that's because these teeth are so small they're tiny but this one looks great so probably best to lubricate this I'm not going to but we can see that there's the motor right here this wire looks good so I'm gonna leave intact see what I can do fixing this arm though I won't be able to fly this and this because unless I can find like an extra gear um, but I mean there's no need to fly both of them so parts um, and then I have my working one. You can see that this is what this one looks like. This is how it is here. And I'm so sorry for all the shaking, but this should go with the blade. I guess I'll put that in first because I made the mistake of actually removing this screw, taking everything out. Now, I don't believe that uh, the blade goes in all the way. There's a hole that goes through the shaft. So you're gonna have to align it up correctly to actually get it in there. Now mine spins freely, I guess because it's stripped inside of there, but that's okay, it's just to hold the blade in place. And now you can really see that because the gear is like messed up, it's not turning all the way. It locks right there. So now we're just going to unscrew this one and simply replace the gear. It's easy to come out. You can pull the shaft of the blade down and it'll just pop out like that. Put this down. We probably want to, there's like this metal ring right here, you could lubricate that. I'm going to put the hole, because there is a hole just like on the top side for the um, gear to lock in. I'm gonna put it facing me, that way I can screw it in easier. So I take this gear, find the hole, and then align it together. Now it's not gonna go in all the way, it should fit sit flush with this metal part. If it does, just use your nail and push it back through. Now what we can do is use the screw, I'm going to use the old one because I have no clue where I put the other one, and we're going to try to screw it in. And screwing it in, not all the way, well all the way, but just really lightly with the tightening. And now let's try to spin this and see what happens. And it spins! Perfect! Um, none of the wires are damaged, 
Everything on my drone is fine. There's no wire damage or anything. So I don't have to replace any of that, though that's probably relatively easy as well. So now I'm just going to take my tray with my other parts and I'm going to screw this in. So I'm going to take this one and this is just going to go right here. You want to make sure it aligns properly with the screw holes. It kind of snaps into place just like that. And now you can actually take the screws and put them back together. So now everything's screwed back in. And I mean, it spins, it works. I'll be flying this later, putting the prop guards on, putting the spare somewhere, just so if anything ever happens again, I always have those spare parts. Those gears are really important. If I can find them online on their own, that'd be great. And hopefully I'll have those in the description, but if not, um, it'll be just the tools and not a link to this drone because you shouldn't buy it. But that's how you'd go about fixing it. Super, super simple. And I wish all drones came with gear replacements because the hose break all the time, and even the shafts, because they're just thin aluminum, very important. Um, that's all for that.